Now, are you a collector of Too Faced cosmetics? Because I am, my dear. It's one of my favorite brands. And you know, I was looking through my makeup that I have, and I'm basically rediscovering the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. Hmm. As you can tell, some <laughs> I've hit pan or very close to it. But you're probably wondering, can we have a natural look with this where you can wear for work? Where you can wear just every day? And it does have a, a touch of glam, as you can tell. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and. So if you're wanting to know what natural way you can use this, this all rediscovered product that you have in your collection, then come down, get some coffee, and of course, let's get ready together. And let's rediscover the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my dears. Now, today we'll be going straight into the Rediscover the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. Uh, this came out, I think, about a year, over a year ago. As you can tell, some shadows I have hit pan. Yes, I have. And I've been playing with this palette over the nice gentle colors, and I'm going to show you my favorite makeup look from this palette. And it's also natural, makes you look nice and glamorous and usable and yes we're gonna be going into some people until no further ado i want to remind you in case you haven't already please consider subscribing and remember to push the little notification bell <laughs> and it will let you know when my videos are up and loaded and i do load every monday and friday as much as possible of course also in case you haven't already please follow me on all of my social medias on instagram twitter youtube facebook and even snapchat and even my IMDb page, I understand it's been a while, but it's my acting in the Lopez. I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer, and if you have this palette, take it out and get ready with me. Okay, the first thing that I do, because as for me, I always start with the eyes first, because I'm messy, my dears. I'm very messy. Now, I do have my mirror, so I'm going to try that uh, <laughs> it's not blocking everything. You're still able to see what I'm doing, products, etc., etc. Now, I'm going to use some products that are a little bit not so new but they're still very much left. So the first thing we're gonna do is prime the eyes. Now, currently, I do not have any eye primer, but there's always an alternative that I absolutely love, and as you can tell, my hair and everything is out of my face. I'm gonna be going drugstore. I'm gonna be using a Maybelline New York Master Conceal by Face Studio. This is a fantastic, and I mean a fantastic concealer, except they need to take away the word new. I think it's been out like over a year. It's not new no more, people. It's not new no more. And I put this all over the eyes. And I use a beauty blender to blend everything in. Pretty, it's all covered and everything. You can add a little bit more, but in my opinion, it's not completely necessary because we're gonna be going over the shadows in just a second. Now, and this is where we go into the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. One of my favorite palettes, by the way. And actually, I'm gonna be mixing white peach, nectar, and peaches and cream. All of this, as you can tell, all of them have been head in hand for this very, very reason. Because these by itself, at least for my skin tone, it doesn't show up. It has the colors to set the concealer. And if you have primer, it's the same thing. Just use it on top. Now, as you can tell, they're all covered up and it looks very close to my skin color. So that's the good thing about these. You mix it and you see why I didn't put so much concealer on? It powder kind of took care of it. I know, coffee. Me and my habit. Then I'm going to use the exact same brush. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go into Georgia. So I'm going to put my brush all in it. As you can tell, this is very much used. It has like a, almost like a dome in there. And I'm going to put this all over the crease. Oh, this is a Sigma E40, by the way. There, you see how beautiful that color gives? That's a nice, beautiful, light, peachy transition shade. Oh, I love Georgia. Hence, the dome. <laughs> and then, on puree, I'm going to be using the same brush. And I'm going to be going right here in the outer corners, right here, and into the crease, but don't cover Georgia. Not completely, just put a little bit underneath. So you stretch your eye out like this.
As you can tell, it leaves this lovely peachy brown color. Love it. Then, I'm actually going to switch brushes now. I'm going to be using my MAC 242, and I'm going to go into Lutches. <laughs> Lutches, Lutches, Lutches. And I'm actually going to put this all over the lid. So yes, we are going to be covering the brown, but we're going to add it on just a second. So use this and pat it all over the lid. And then I'm going to go back to the same brush that we used, the same E40. And I'm going to go into the next color that's next door. That's called Summer Yum. I'm going to be putting it exactly what I did with Puree in the outer corner. So we're going to go a little bit under that Lutches color and into the crease. And then I'm going to go back into Lutches. And I'm going to go over what we just did, except I'm not going to put it over that brown this time. And then I'm going to flip the brush over. And I'm actually going to be adding Just Peachy Candy Peach right on top of Lutches. And then I'm going to flip it back. I'm going to go back into Lutches and I'm going to mix Bellini and put it right in the same spot. And then I'm going to take my Luxie 111 and I'm going to go into the white peach shade. The one that we used to cover everything and I'm going to put this all over the brow bone. And then I'm going to take another clean Sigma E40 brush. It's clean. And I'm going to go into Georgia. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go up here and just blend both colors in. That way it's nice and seamless. For the palette, at least on top of the eyes, that will be it. Then I'm going to move on. And I'm going to go into my old trusty Too Faced Chocolate Brownie. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use this to do my brows. And then I'm going to be using the Too Faced. Easy Glide Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Mm -hmm. Now I did do a review of this product on this video right over here. I did it with the, the battle of the damn girl mascara. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't checked that video out, it's that one. And I will also put it down in the description below. So for this, I'm not going to create a wing or anything like that. We just look, we ain't going to be that fancy. We're just doing trying to do an everyday natural look. I'm just going to do a simple line from here to here. No wing or anything like that. Now that we have that done, as you can tell, I'm messy. I will be using my pawns and let's clean up just a tad, shall we? Okay, now that we are all nice and cleaned up, mm -hmm, we're gonna go straight into the mascara. So let me go ahead and curl my <laughs> eyelashes. And how are you guys been, by the way? How's your day going? What are your plans? Let me know, let me know. And if it's the weekend, comment below, let me know what you're up to. Now, I did buy this NARS Climax Mascara. I did it in that VIB room sale, this video right over here. I'll also post it down in the description below. Um, I tried this mascara when I first got it, to be honest. It didn't impress me, like none. But now that I'm starting to use it, it's not the best mascara I've used in my life. The it Cosmetic Superhero Mascara is always going to be number one for me. That's just number one, people. That's just number one. I don't think there's anyone compared to it. But this mascara, I noticed, it gets better with age. It's with age, people. It's with age. So it gracefully gets better. I know, gracefully. See how it leaves my lashes nice and pretty? Hopefully you're able to see it. There is a trick with this mascara because I have the type of lashes that after a while they go down. I'm going to teach you how with this mascara and the trick that I use that most people are not going to like. But that actually stay lifted up all day. So wait for that. <laughs> so that's all we're going to be doing on the top of the eyes. This is it. Nice, beautiful, natural. Has a little bit of gleam. Mm, I know, right? For the rest of the face. I'm actually going to be using, I also got this as like a sample from the VIB cell from Sephora. And this is from the Versali. Like I said, my favorite product from Versali is the setting spray because it smells like cream and it feels nice. But if you're allergic to fragrance, stay far away. This is the 
For some of the Unicorn Essence Skin Enhancing Antioxidant Serum. It's gonna be our primer for today, and let's see how that works. And it has like this unicorn purple thing. It has no smell to it. Well, the only thing I can say is that it is slippery and it does feel very, very nice. So we'll see how this works for the rest of the day. So the foundation of choice, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Foundation Stick. I'm in the shade Beige. And I'm almost like, literally almost gone. Which is one of the reasons I'm using it for this video. Because I'm one of these people that I want to use up my products. Because I do have quite a bit of makeup and I don't want them to expire. So I'm trying to use it up as much as possible. Now the thing I know about this one is that literally you have to like really like apply it on your skin a lot to cover up what you need. See how it leaves your skin nice and even? That's what I like about this. You do have to apply a lot in like any stick foundations. It does go away quicker. But it's so low maintenance. It's so easy. It's like it's easy when you go traveling because you just put this in a bag. And that's all we're going to be doing with foundation. I know. I have like a little nub left. <laughs> I always have to apologize in all my videos. I am outside. I do have a light that's like right there. And you know, natural sunlight. But as you know, with natural sunlight, it changes. So I can't control the sun. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and then I'm going to use concealer. I'm going to go back and use the Maybelline concealer. But see how easily it blends. The only thing about this concealer that I do have to forewarn you guys is that uh, you can't have it set in your face which is why I was doing it little by little bit because it would become a lot harder to blend just a little FYI about that concealer it's a good concealer just you have to be a little bit careful with it and I think they're slowly discontinuing this product which I don't like but we're rediscovering it they're rediscovering makeup right the Too Faced Cocoa Contour I'm gonna do I'm gonna be using my Too Faced and I'm gonna be going into Pop of Light and Light Cocoa between those two, and I'm gonna be setting underneath the eyes. That's all we're gonna be using for right now, but I'm gonna set the rest of my face, and I'm actually gonna be doing the Fenty. Now, I did do a review on this product, on the Fenty, and I also had a lavender, but that one, I finished that product. Fantastic product, by the way. Lovely, like, brightening, it's fantastic. And this is in the shade Cashew. And I have like very little product left. Like I said, I'm trying to use, go through my products because uh, as a makeup reviewer, yeah, I'm gonna keep getting products. <laughs> I'm gonna use the side of this half. What I'll learn about this product is that it is very pigmented. And so you kind of have to put it like this. Just to warm up the skin. It's absolutely beautiful product like I love Fenty products I love her I see how it left the skin nice delicate natural I know I love this product the only thing is that with this product I said you have to be very gentle with it and you have to put it on the side like it did we're gonna go ahead and finish up the eyes real quick before we finish up the face go back into the peach palette and I'll be using the Sigma E30 and I'm actually gonna go into Georgia and I'm going to put it all over the lash line. Now, you could just leave it just like that alone if you like. That works fine. But I'm actually going to go ahead and go into puree. And just put this not all over the lash line, just right like halfway. Just where it can add a little bit of dimension in it. And you'll match the top. into that same brush that we just put Georgia on like little touches of Georgia and just go underneath the lash line just for it to blend you know blending purposes look up it's a lot easier you won't hook your eye <laughs> see how pretty that looks mm -hmm. then you're done with that palette and then you go back to the mascara and you're gonna put some on your lower lashes now as you can tell I messed up my uh, and some came on my skin. It's okay, you leave it there. We're gonna get a Q-tip in a minute and wipe that off. It'd be like nothing ever happened. But remember one of the things I told you about the mascara? Now that I let it dry, I do go back with my curler and gently recurl. That's the key word, gently. See how it helps? And then I do go back and add an additional coat once I do that. This uh, NARS Climax is a very high maintenance mascara, just like so you know. And then I will go back into the cocoa 
contour palette and I'll be using the brush that comes in here and I'm going to be mixing dark cocoa and medium cocoa and if you don't have this product it's okay just use any bronzer that you like you know that's, that's your skin tone and I'm going to go ahead and bronze my face as you can tell that left me nice and bronzy like the sun just happened to kiss me like <laughs> I love this palette I know. And since they're slowly discontinuing it. And then, I want a little bit of glow. I'm actually going to be using this Ulta. It's an eyeshadow, but I use it as a blush. Can you blame me? And the shade Sunburst. I'm going to be using my Tarte little brush here. And just tapping it on the cheeks. You see how it leaves like a nice pinkish highlight? What I'm going to do, we're not completely done with the eyes, I'm sorry. I'm actually going to be using a little bit of this color, putting it in my inner corners, and we're going to go back into the Sweet Peach palette. Sorry, we weren't completely done. And I'm actually going to be mixing the White Peach and Luchess and putting it in the inner corners as well. This is the same brush we used for the brown bow, by the way, it's the 111, the Lexi brush. And then for the lips, I'm going to be mixing some things up. I'll be using the Physician Formula Murmur Butter. This is in the shade pop the bubbly this came in the little Casey Holmes little set this video right over here in case you haven't seen it I'll also put it down in the description below and I'm basically running out I love this product I may have to buy some more because it's like a bomb okay and I will be putting lemonade from Dominique Cosmetics on top Last but not least, I will be setting my face and I'll be using the Anastasia Dewy Set. I also did this video about the testing of foundations and the new Anastasia products. I'll put this video right over here and I'll also link it down in the description below. And I think it's my last video, just in case you missed it. So, let's go ahead and set the face. Oh, so refreshing with this 100 degree heat in Texas. <laughs> and like I mentioned in that video, the bottle's glittery. It doesn't necessarily mean the product's glittery. It's just Lucy nice and luminous. Oh, are you seeing why I love this look? I absolutely love this, it. This, my dears, is the natural everyday makeup look with the Rediscover Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. So, if you like this tutorial or if you have tried it, please let me know. Comment below. Was it easy to follow? I try to make it nice and easy for you guys. And let me know what you think. If you created a video, send me a video on Instagram. Send me a video on. Put the link down in the description below. I would love to know what you thought about this look. And thank you so much for sitting up and joining me because it is morning and it gets kind of lonely when I get rid of it by myself because it's just me, the porch, outside, disgusting bug thingies <laughs> and you know the light I'm not myself so thank you so much for joining me and thank you thank thank you I really appreciate you watching till the very end and as always if you made it to the end <laughs> so thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it and I hope you have a wonderful morning day evening mm -hmm. and everything to just come fantastic and a bunch of blessings to you guys so thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it and right before we leave just remember be safe be kind be careful i love you i miss you and i'll see you on my next video see you soon